All right, fellas, we're here with the Galaxy Note 8. This is the N5120 model. Uh, it has calling capabilities. It does have the LTE, although that LTE will not work here in North America where I'm located. I've also got uh, my Sony Xperia Z Ultra and some basic scissors just to have something to compare it to. The Sony Xperia Z Ultra, as you probably know from my previous video, uh, we've got a waterproof 6.44 inch screen, 1080p. Uh, it's got the 800 chipset, I believe. Yeah, 800 chipset in it. Uh, it's been my daily driver. It's uh, it's actually for sale now, but uh, yeah, it's been my daily driver for quite a while and make a long story short I felt like I needed something that was uh, bigger as far as the screen is concerned and I thought that I would like the waterproof uh, the waterproof phone I thought that, that would come in handy however I don't use it like I thought that I would uh, I'm not using it in the bathtub I'm not using it in the shower and the one time that I did use it in the shower the screen just gets crazy it starts tapping all over the place anywho the galaxy note is not as quick as the sony xperia z uh, as far as the chipset that's in it i probably won't be able to tell the difference because i don't ever play games however i wanted to show you guys uh, finally came in and uh yeah it's a beaut this is looking good So this is the comparison between the Note 8 and the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. The Note 8 is going to be my daily driver. It does have the S Pen down below, as you can see there. Not waterproof. Uh, the screen is only 1280 by 800, I think, or 1280 by 720. I think it's 1280 by 800 though. Um, so the screen's probably not going to be as vibrant as this. And the PPIs are going to be a lot less on this one. However, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to having this uh, the 8-inch screen uh, and stepping up from this uh, 6.44. Neither one of these models are available here in America. You can get a Note 8 in America from AT&T. However, it is only the Wi-Fi version. Uh, you are not able to make calls out on it. And the brown one, which this one's the brown one, even though it looks black to me. They call it brown. That's Samsung for you. Uh, the brown one is even more exclusive. It's uh, It's got the LTE bands on it, which I can't, uh, I can't take for granted anyways, because those LTE, those LTE bands, they won't work here in America. However, I did want the brown version because it does look black versus the all white. Uh, I, I feel like I would get pretty annoyed with that. And... Last but not least, if I can grab this S Pen, a little difficult here with one hand. There we go. And we've got the brown S Pen, which in my opinion is black. Although I am getting old, so maybe it is brown. Anywho, stay tuned. Uh, we'll have a we'll have a review video coming up. Oh, something to note, no pun intended, uh, something to note on both of these phones, no flash. Also, no flash. Stereo speakers in the bottom, not as nice as the HTC One experience, which has the dual front-facing speakers. And dual bottom-facing speakers, which I'm betting is going to be a lot better than this single almost uh, muffled sound that comes out of the Sony and the reason for that the reason why it's not very high on the volume scale is because it's got that membrane down here on the bottom for the port that way it can remain waterproof anywho there we have it I'm hoping I can fit this in the back pocket. I haven't even tried yet. We'll see. Stay tuned.